trigonometry, reciprocal trig functions. This is a right angle triangle with angle x. So this is the adjacent side. This is the opposite side to the angle x. And this side of the triangle is the hypotenuse. And you've all seen so katoa. So sine x is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So this side here divided by this side here. Cos x, the cosine of x, is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And tan x is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, opposite over the adjacent. So the sine of angle x is given by this ratio. That's a ratio, so is this, and so is this. A quick application at this stage. Our right angle triangle has these sides. Sine x, opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of x, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan x, opposite over adjacent. If we take the reciprocal of each of these, then you get 1 over sine x is equal to, and if you flip this over, hypotenuse over the opposite side, you get 1 over cos x is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent, and you get 1 over tan x is equal to the adjacent over the opposite. 1 over sine x is called the cosecant or cosec of angle x, which is equal to h over o. 1 over cos x is referred to as secant x or sec angle x equal to h over a and 1 over tan x is the cotangent of x or cot x equal to a over o and a simple way of remembering these is the third letter in for each of these, so the third letter here, the third letter here, so for these reciprocal trig functions, if you look at the third letter of each one, it refers back to its origin. So cosec is 1 over sine, sec is 1 over cosine, same letter, same letter, and cot is 1 over tan same letter. So in this example, if we look at the ratios for the reciprocal trig functions, so cosec x is equal to, and you have to take the reciprocal of this ratio here, this one's 5 over 4, again taking the reciprocal, and this one would be 4 over 3 from the reciprocal. Just as you've learnt to sketch the graphs of sine, cos and tan, you also need to learn how to sketch the graphs of cosec, sec and cot, and you need to know the properties of these reciprocal trig function graphs too. Have a look at the next video for this.